Hey, good evening, YouTube. Today we are working on a 2002 Polaris 700 Twin. This bike came to me making a loud chirping noise, very similar to a water pump uh, on a vehicle, but much, much louder, so it's more likely a, a, a bearing style noise. Um, and today I just wanted to kind of get people into how to diagnose and troubleshoot something like this. So the bike did run, you had to give it a little bit of a choke, just a hair to uh, keep it running. Uh, cylinder number two here, we had 120 PSI. Cylinder number one did something a little wonky. I watched the needle and it wasn't as consistent as cylinder number two. Uh, it bounced like 90 to 100, but it seemed to almost suck back in or something. It was doing something strange. But today what we're gonna look at is, we pulled the head and we're looking at the top of the pistons. And we're just gonna turn this motor over see here. I'm just going to turn this motor over. Now you can see both these pistons are pretty much at the top of their stroke. Now what I'm going to do is rock this engine back and forth just using the clutch here. I'm just going to get a hold of that and rock it back and forth. Now you can see how the piston on the right's moving and that piston on the left isn't moving at all. So they still complete the stroke but you'll notice that one piston lags behind. So that's slop in the crank or some bearing. Could be a wrist pin, but it's since these bikes have crank issues, it's probably the crank. There you have it. Easy enough. It's not too hard to pull the head on these either since it's a push rod motor. There's not a, a whole lot of worrying about timing or anything like that. So. You can really just yank the head and uh, and go at it. The exhaust and everything else comes out real easy, so you shouldn't have much trouble working on this motor. This, like I said, if you go online, you're gonna find out this is a super common issue. Um, tons of people talk about it. Now, from my research, we're looking at uh, somewhere between a uh, minimum of $300 for a used crank, $400 for maybe like a remanufactured crank on eBay, all the way up to about $600. I doubt you're going to find them any cheaper than that. You may also be able to find a service online that rebuilds cranks. A lot of people don't because it's a very strange crank. Uh, a couple people, uh, a couple companies are trying it. I have not researched that yet, but that's just what I've read on the forum. So that will be my first approach because they seem a little cheaper. They might be able to slap a new bearing in there for uh, maybe $250, $300. Bucks. So uh, we'll see what, uh, what all it takes. Um, thanks for watching.